Remember the millions of gallons of hand sanitizer New York State made at the height of the pandemic? It squooshed right out of the mm -hmm. bottle too much and smelled great, right? Not all of it was used, and right now there are 700,000 gallons being stored at the state's preparedness training center in Oriskany. Capital correspondent Emel Talishi reports on what the governor plans to do with it and why some lawmakers say it's a bad idea. When the pandemic hit, Americans rushed to stock up on disinfectants, toiletries, and hand sanitizer, but the store shelves were quickly left bare. That's when former Governor Andrew Cuomo created New York's very own state sanitizer, 11 million gallons to be exact. Now Governor Hochul may ship what's left of that sanitizer out of state to be disposed. But Senator Joe Griffo says this is costly for New Yorkers and there are better ways to go about it. The sanitizer is being stored in the senator's district. He says he spoke with New York universities who have quality environmental programs. They say the sanitizer, if brought to the proper facility, can be transformed into heat electricity. Griffo also says makeup companies can benefit from the sanitizer. So we have some great companies here like Estee Lauder here in New York. And uh, I think they look at the value of the uh, isopropyl alcohol and how that can be utilized uh, in the manufacturing of makeup or lotions, things of that nature. The senator adds that while the sanitizer is being stored following proper precautions, it's still a potentially hazardous material to keep on standby. His other concern, costs associated with disposing the sanitizer. So I think this is a better approach. That's why I've written to the governor and say, let's do this in a way where it's not gonna cost the taxpayers money. We can get rid of it so that it doesn't potentially cause any hazard, and we might be able to do something beneficial relative to uh, uh, energy. According to the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency, it's okay to discard small amounts of hand sanitizer in the trash, but it would be better to take it to a hazardous waste collection facility. And when it comes to large amounts of sanitizer, they require hazardous waste disposal. I did reach out to the governor's office, but was unable to reach her for comment. Senator Griffo hopes to get the situation dealt with as soon as possible. We'll have the latest with those updates. Reporting at the Capitol, Amel Talaji. All right, turning our attention to the forecast now. Will it